You know, a question I get asked a lot is how are you able to stay calm and manage things as a mom of four? Sometimes people act like I'm a dog walking on its hind legs whenever they see me doing things with four kids. I really think it comes down to four things that my grandmother told me a long time ago when it comes to parenting. I'm going to share with you really quickly what my grandmother said to me that I thought was super wise and you might be able to use it as well. Your children are not angels. That's what she said to me. Oh my goodness. I was a, I was a child myself when she said this. I was doing something or saying something that I knew um, I wasn't supposed to know or I wasn't supposed to do or something like that. And her response was so, like, I thought I was telling her something like, you know, oh, you didn't know this about me. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I already know my children aren't angels. None of my children are angels. I already know that. So it's okay. And I did, I did not like that answer as a child. I did not like that. I am an angel, but I get what she was saying. Of course, my kids are my precious little angels, but they're not angels. And that helps me keep in perspective my expectations of them on a daily. I expect my children to have a tantrum. I expect them to be angry. I expect them to get upset. I expect them not to like when I tell them it's time for them to go to bed. It doesn't matter. You can see the videos of my, my kid is like reading at two years old and all this. And still, I expected that smart little two-year-old to roll on the floor and scream and lose their minds if they were in Target and they were not able to get a toy from a toy section that we didn't plan to get that day. You know, I 1000% expect them to misbehave because they're children and they're going to make mistakes. So I don't hold myself to this high standard of just this unrealistic motherhood where your children are going to be perfect. They are not, they're not meant to be perfect. They're definitely not born perfect. They're born into a society with all of these different rules and stuff. And kids are kind of like little, basically like little wild animals almost. They just don't have any clue about any of these rules and you have to teach them, you know? So I don't expect that. And that helped me just remain more calm and easygoing as a parent overall. Number two was to feed and love the children. So my fourth child, what a blessing she is. Oh my goodness, but wow, what a surprise. I was not expecting that. Um, I already was feeling like three was a lot, okay? Anybody who has three can, um, can relate. And definitely adding in a fourth felt like, ooh, ooh. wow, what a surprise. But when I came to my grandmother and I told her, you know, I was expecting a fourth child and that the thought of having a fourth child felt stressful to me, she literally said to me, well, Brittany, you know, just feed and love it. You can do that. She made it seem so simple. Like, you know, yes, life comes with costs when you have children nowadays, of course. But at the end of the day, I really don't have to live up to these standards. I don't have to. Like, I don't have to send them to private school. I don't have to put them in fancy clothes. I don't, I don't actually have to do any of these things. I could really downgrade my life and just feed and love the children. That's it. That is all I had to do, really, was feed and love the child. And when she put it in such simplistic terms, it really just helped me accept a lot of things better. It just helped me be more calm or cool. And if I can do it, I will. If I can't, I can't. I would love to. But at the end of the day, I love you. I'm going to feed you. I'm your mom. All we need is each other. We just need family. We're good. And that just, that just helped me so much. Especially nowadays where there's so much pressure to perform. <sighs> just feed and love the child. Okay, Bam. so this leads me into the third thing that she said. And she also said this to me when I was a kid. Okay. She said this to me. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't finish something, you know, I didn't do something. And she made it clear to me that at the end of the day, she knows that as a mother, she has done her best. And with that, she can rest. And you know what? That was such, 
it was so powerful for me because as a parent, like you do everything you can and then you hear some of these horror stories of how people turn out as adults and their parents like who who are their parents, you know? But guess what? It's not always the parents' fault. <laughs> it's not it's not always. I mean, in in, in society there's so many influences, especially now you have the internet, you have the friends, you have the you have a lot. And as a parent, you're trying to curate you know, a, a, an environment that's going to nurture and build good citizens and good people and responsible people. You're doing your absolute best. And I feel as if as long as I know that I woke up and I did my best, right? I really did my best. I stayed calm. I didn't yell. You know, I tuned in. I took think I just did everything that I was supposed to do. And I know that I did my best as a parent. I can go to sleep. I can sleep. I feel comfortable. That makes me feel like, you know what? There's nothing else I can do because at the end of the day, everyone has free will, even your kids, and they are not always going to choose the things that you taught them. And that is something that you just have to accept as a parent. They are not always going to choose your way of living, of doing, of seeing the world. It's just not guaranteed. And you have to be able to lay down at night as a person, as an individual, and feel good about yourself and how you've contributed to their lives, how you have contributed to society, and who you are as a person. And you can't let the decisions of someone you cannot control make you second guess who you are or how good you are, okay? And at the end of the day, that's very important to establish. You and your children are not the same person. So no matter what you do, no matter who they are, they're not really your tro trophies, they're not really... Uh, they don't really owe you anything. So at the end of the day, you do your best and that's it. Lastly, get up before the kids. Get up before the kids. I, one of my friends, she finally is getting up before her children. I don't know how she was operating before that, but to get up when the baby wakes up or the baby being the alarm clock is so just don't do that. I just, I cannot imagine my child being my alarm. That would just horrify me. <laughs> No, I need to have my day to myself. So do that and all the other tips and you will feel less overwhelmed as a parent. Let me know any tips that you have that you have gained from someone else as wisdom around parenting that helps you feel more calm, cool, collected, and easygoing as a parent. Because it's hard out here. We all need to help each other. Okay, bye.